This is a poem called White Rose from my book, Salt and Iron. Sophie Scholl, a university student and member of the White Rose resistance movement in Germany during World War II, was arrested in February 1943 while distributing the movement's sixth leaflet at the University of Munich. Her executioners have remarked on the courage with which she met her death. Sophie placed the sheets of paper gently by each closed door like flowers, something to give life when visited by bees, white birds, the hands that knelt to pick them up. She had walked through Munich's darkened streets for sun-starved months, her copy of Faust under one arm, the flyers against brown shirts and hatred tucked between pages on Mephistopheles. This day, the sun had broken the early morning clouds, pushed into the quieted classroom at the university. She paused as she placed the papers on each chair. Dust motes rose in the warmth of the bright beams that stretched into the room, and the papers with drawings of roses and neat German script shone white. For that moment, she saw herself as Germania, the huge statue on the Rhine, with words for her sword, pages for her shield. She would no longer live at night, and so opened a window. The sun warmed her face, bird sounds like blessings to her. Sunlight, like a warm hand, graced her shoulder. Released from her hands, the flyers floated like pollen into those walking to class, those walking to days that pretended to be days. At home, she made coffee, put on Beethoven's Ode to Joy, her best white dress. Sophie Scholl opened the last pages of Faust and waited.